Supporters of prominent Shia cleric Muqtada al-Sadr fired rocket-propelled grenades into Baghdad's green zone as weeks of peaceful protests turned violent. Powerful militias that fought Daesh are now making Iraq's political crisis extremely volatile. They're the armed wings of Shia political factions who are taking aim at state security forces. The army appeared to return fire. Al-Sadr's sudden resignation from politics on Monday catapulted Iraq into violence and chaos. But on Tuesday afternoon, he called on his followers to stand down. We said OK to peaceful protests, but now even that is not OK anymore. I don't want peaceful protests either. What did the people do between yesterday afternoon and now that they should suffer like this? They are living in fear with this gunfire and mortars. You want to get rid of corruption by killing people? No, my friends, this is not acceptable. Al-Sadr derives power from his ability to mobilise and control his large following. On hearing his words, his supporters immediately withdrew from the Green Zone. He leads Iraq's strongest political faction, the Sadrist movement. It's allied with Kurdish and some Sunni Muslim parties. It's opposed by the coordination framework, which is an umbrella block of mostly fellow Shia groups, backed by Iran. Iraq has been ruled from the beginning after 2003 with consensual democracy. Because we have uh, a different uh, ethnicities, Arabs, Kurds and Sunnis divided between uh, Arab Sunnis and Arab Shia and the Kurds, it's very uh, it's impossible for one political ethnicity to gain majority in parliament uh, to rule the country. And now, no one's running the country. Iraq has been without a functioning government for 10 months. There's gridlock because the coordination framework thwarted al-Sadr's attempts at forming a ruling coalition. On Tuesday, a mass funeral took place for al-Sadr supporters who were killed during Monday's clashes in the Green Zone. The recent violence is a setback for a country that's trying to recover after decades of conflict. And there's no clear path to a solution. Claire Herriot, TRT World.